like that it shows good mind formers to just each his own team and everything. Um, how did the team start his team start? Um, sometimes us teens were reckless and careless and we don't think that a condom is needed when having sexual intercourse and mistakes happen such as having a kid at a young age. And um, sometimes in a relationship the girl kid with her boyfriend, it will make him stay. And um, usually when you, like your parents, if they had you at a young age, that tradition follows, so you tend to have a kid at a young age also. Also, um, it also comes with not having any discipline, or the kid, like the teen is not getting any attention in the house, so they just do whatever they want. Um, how, I, I feel like the media especially these two um, TV shows. Teen Mom is an American reality TV show that premiered on MTV on December 8, 2009. The original series is like navigates the three years of motherhood in a teen's life. And the show focuses on the challenges and struggles they go through with friendships and relationships. And I feel like they're sending out the wrong message just because they're showing all the struggles of a teenager that they would have if they were pregnant, but yet they keep having more episodes and new seasons, which they shouldn't. I think the show's ridiculous. And um, the other show is The Secret Life of, of an American Teenager. It's also an American um, TV drama show. It was aired on July 1st, 2008. The first season focuses on the relationship between the family and friends and an unexpected pregnancy. And again, it's also the wrong message, I feel, because in the show, it does show that she does have a kid, but she's um, she's still going to school, which means like, oh, if you have a kid, you will have some success, but that's not what they should be telling us. Like, if you have a kid, you're like, not going to be the same. Um, how to prevent pregnancy? The um, sexual education classes are offered in high schools, universities, health centers, anywhere, basically. And not just for teens, but for adults. And I feel it's important that adults should also be educated in sex classes just because sometimes they don't have the information to give their child about um, sex and how to stay safe. And also, having safe sex is important. Um, always using a condom, saying, don't take no for an answer, ladies. And different ways that you can, um, for girls, that you can there's a combination pill, you take it every day, it's 99% effective, we take it around the same time every day, and um, there's a vaginal ring, you place it, it's a plastic ring that you place in um, your vagina for three weeks, and then you take it out for regular period, you do that every three weeks, and then there's an IUD, it's a paragraph, it's like an implanted, a surgically implanted copper device, um, it usually goes on your arm. It's 99% effective and it lasts 10 years. And also the patch that you can put on your arm, your, your buttocks, your abdomen, and you leave it for a week. And these are the statistics. Um, the United States has the highest rates of teen pregnancy and births in the Western industrialized world. Teen pregnancy costs the United States at least $7 billion annually. 34% of young women become pregnant at least once when they be before they reach the age of 20. 8 out of 10 of those pregnancies are unintended and 79% are due to unmarried teens. Teen mothers are less likely to complete high school and only one third actually receive their high school diploma. And only 1.5% of, of those teen moms have a college degree by the age of 30. Um, teen mothers are more likely to end up on welfare. And the children of these teen mothers have lower birth weights and are likely to perform poorly in school and are at greater risk of abuse and neglect. So not only like will, and that from like abuse and neglect, that comes from like the teen being stressed, your kid taking care of another kid. So you can't, you don't have the experience. And I 
thought it was worth a uh, message to show everyone. He told his last baby mama he's he stay with her too. Don't be a kid, don't have one. Which means that just because you give, just because you think that by having a kid, your boyfriend's gonna stay with you, he's not. You guys are both young, you guys have your whole lives ahead of you. So you should think about that before. You, should be, you shouldn't live in the moment, you should also think about the future.